You ready to fight? Ready. All right, so here he is, the UFC champion, and this guy is all the rage. Right now, he might be the front runner for the fighter of the year, given the fact that he was able to knock out the number one contender in his last title defense, and to do so so emphatically in a fight that a lot of people thought was close on paper is really something that could take his career to the next level. Trying to follow that up here tonight. Most guys have succumbed to his power. We'll see if that holds true yet again tonight. All right, early round one here, big reach advantage, DC. We'll see if he can employ that patented jet. Yes, he has to maintain distance. He's the taller guy. So every time his opponent tries to enter, he's gonna have to take something on the way inside. Just misses with the left hook. Oh, nice, nice. Working off the jab, it's good. Just over three minutes to go. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Now drops inside that first guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pop. Oh, arm triangle. Arm triangle. Arm triangle. Ooh, arm triangle's in tight. It's getting in very tight. He's to push the arm to the side. Get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the mat. He goes flat. All weight to his opponent. Look at that. He's in trouble. It's over. It's over. Oh, no way he, he got out. out. He was able to create enough space to get his chest back flat on the mat and defend that arm triangle. Unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. Still trying to get the submission here. This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. Oh, good defense, yes. How about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Well, we'll see who has the edge here as they get back to their feet after a pretty engaged battle there on the ground. And both of these guys should feel pretty satisfied because they both had their moments and they both showed true skill on the ground. Excellent. That's what I'm talking about. That's the pace we're talking about. That's the cardio that I'm used to seeing right there, just like in training. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round underway. Connects with a beautiful jab. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Thunderous leg kick rounds his opponent. Clipped it a little bit, tried to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion of this fight. John, he's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick and landing some nasty strikes. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of... Right him through the air, and he lands the knee. Big combination. Nice jab. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, slips to avoid the right. 
So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Nice spinning attack there, able to land to the body. Once you get take that many kicks, it doesn't matter if they're hard or not. Those are a lot of kicks. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter of eight. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of the bar. I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level that we have not seen him fight before. This is shades of Kobe Covington, Max Holloway, those guys that can fight all night. He is showing you that he has done the work in the training room, and it's on full display tonight. Nice straight right, Lance. Just misses with a left hook there. Back and forth we go. Lands to the body there. Caught that. No. All right, so, oh, there it is. Dump City catches the kick and promptly counters with that take. Great time, great recognition of seeing the kick coming and turning it into your offense. Huh. Saved by the bell, there is the final horn. He was getting grounded, he was getting pounded just at the end of the round. So you see, he's taking some of this time here to get back to his feet. Only 60 seconds on the clock between rounds. We will see if this young man can recover. All right, so there's the horn. Let us now look back at some of the action in that round, DC. And he had his takedown game going early and off. Yeah, he had it going great. I mean, he did a great job of finding his entries, rushing to his finishes before his po opponent could react and defend him. Ready to fight. He should be very Ready. proud of the work he did Good. over the course of that last round. Here we go, third round of this championship. Oh, another crushing leg kick. Man, that one left him. He is throwing his hip into every one of these kicks, and it is taking an effect on his opponent. He's hurt. He's hurt. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Absolutely getting after it. Huge shots landing on both sides. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned. Just about do it. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Well, DC kind of just playing with him at this point, right? You think he's got to go in and just get him out of there. Well, he's trying, but he gets a little bit anxious, so he starts to throw a lot of punches and not the right. Oh, shot right on the button. I mean, perfect liver shot. That is the most debilitating shot in all of fighting. It is very difficult to recover from that. Oh, look at that. Burns' left calf really starting to show signs of bruising now. He missed with that jab attempt there. Oh, going for the takedown here. Throwing that jab, no good. Oh, nice. For certain. Take a deep breath. Well, we talk so much ad nauseum about this trend of leg kicks in MMA, but oftentimes only a few can cause real visceral damage, and now you see the limp. Yeah, you start to see him limping from the damage from the kicks. This guy did not address those kicks early, and now he's paying for it. A 
Well, lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figured the timing and now he's going to drive kick after kick into his opponent. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach. Ooh! 